things that you should know about Double Dutch. Double Dutch is a unique sport. Some people don't want to accept it as a sport, but it is a sport. It's not like basketball or football or even cheerleading. It stands alone. Double Dutch team consists of one jumper and two turners. Although you may be looking at the jumper jump, the tournament is the most important part of Double Dutch. And it's the hardest part of Double Dutch. Double Dutch is an extreme sport for teamwork. The speed category, the judges count every time the left foot hits in two minutes. The fastest jumper on the floor received the highest score. Every time you mess up, that's 10 points deducted. In freestyle, you'll see all three jumpers get a chance to get in the rope and show their creativity. The judges score how many tricks you can do in one minute, how creative you can be, how clean the routine is, and every time you mess up, it's just a half a point off. It's bigger than the ropes. It's a safe haven for the kids, something that keeps the kids off the streets. Just like it was a way out for me, I feel it's a way out for these city kids. Instead of being looked at as just another statistic, I want them to know how it feels to take a first place trophy and be first at something. Not only do you have to drill them with double-edged skills, but you have to drill them with life skills. You need to know that you cannot rely on Ayana and Danasia at all times. You need to be able to get on the floor with other people and still show up and show out. Duck walk is our secret, secret weapon. I don't like losing and I can't afford to do duck walk. The kids look at duck walk as a punishment, but we look at it as a workout. It actually strengthens their leg. You have to be extremely fit in order to do this sport. Floyd Little is the best in double dutch. We're county champions, we're state champions, and we're world champions. When you look up double dutch in a dictionary, it'll say Floyd Little. Yeah. Yeah.